Virgo. What's the word, yo? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again one time for the one time. Yes, indeed. To let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of October. <clears throat> Excuse me. Voice a little raspy. Don't even ask me. Shout out to everyone who has clicked this video. Thank you so much for all the likes, shares, and subscribes. Thank you for clicking in with me and letting things ride, okay? Um... If there's anyone that would like to book a personal private reading, I want you guys to skip on past that booking page. Just connect with me directly on Instagram because it's no point in you guys booking on a booking page and then we got to chase each other down to make sure that we communicate with each other on the right platform to do the video chat. So just holler at me over at Instagram or if you have any questions, you can email me at scorpionbrand to gmail.com. Let me say shout out to all my babies that has been sending love and light through the Amazon wish list. We got a lot of new stuff here. Thank you guys so much for your constant support of my page if these videos resonate with you if you want to send a little love light and support to the page only thing you really need to do number one is make sure that you click that like button number two if you want to go you know and, and do a little bit more on uh, my amazon wish list is on the about tab as well as all of my communication the uh, book with me and everything um you guys have been asking me to uh, put a uh about to say a snapchat uh cash app uh link on there because a lot of you guys do not have um paypal or i guess it's easier just to send support through cash app so i have the cash app there for you now um if you guys want to send support through paypal or again through the amazon wish list all of that information is in the about tab and again if you want to book with me you see that instagram link there go ahead and click that link or whatever or if you feel more comfortable you can book through the booking page just make sure that you send me a message on Instagram so that we can connect for the video chat, okay? Um, but like I said, it's a lot easier to just send me a message on Instagram. Since we're going to be doing the video there anyway, um, want to give you guys so much love because we got a lot of new decks here. Um, thanks to you guys' support. We have... How many new decks we have here? Honey, let me try to tell you. So, number one, you guys sent... This deck, the witch, the witch's wisdom oracle deck through the Amazon wish list. I got this through the Amazon wish list, um, and oh, and then also this moonology deck. So these were sent to me through Amazon. Thank you so much. We will be using both of these decks today, and this one and the Santa Morte um, Day of the Dead decks will be used for mid-month October. So, thank you guys so very much as well as the Tarot Dice will be used today, okay? So, thank you guys again for all of that love, light, and support and positive energy and just pouring that love back into the page. As you see, it helps me be able to give new content with new decks that gives us new information and helps me as well as you learn and grow. Um, I want to say that this Santa Morte deck is both of these decks are very important to me because I use this for my daily, uh, my personal readings. And this deck right here, I know with all the skulls and stuff, it looks a little scary, but it's about death and rebirth, re rebirth and um, transformation. And as you know, I am a Scorpio, so that is what we're all about. These decks have been confirming that everything that I've been doing in my own personal transformation has been taken off and I'm on the right page. So um, I have got nothing but major, major positive energy and confirmations and everything that I've been doing. And just, you know, God confirming to me that, you know, he's proud of me and all of the progress that I've been making so I greatly appreciate all of the love and light that you guys have been sending and again you will see those other decks later on in the month so I just want to give shout out and love and thank you guys so much for continuing to push and support me as I study my craft and I'm um, continuing to grow and stuff next thing I'm getting is a crystal ball baby yeah okay I do though I'm giving me a little crystal ball eh, okay do a little scrying okay a little scrying, okay? I am reloading. Girl, you already know. I love learning new arts and everything like that. So, thank you guys so much. I cannot wait to get that crystal ball, y'all. Oh, 
And can y'all imagine me sitting here doing a crystal ball reading and everything resonating? I cannot freaking wait so y'all can tell me if it resonates or not. Anyway, let me get, let me stop. Let me stop, okay? Mm. I'm sorry, I just got really excited about that. I'm sorry, like I just got geeked up. I got geeked up. Anyway, so listen, um, let's just do a quick prayer over the reading like we always do. Father God. Thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Virgo. Thank you so much for sharing us with <laughs> all this love and light and this positivity and this joy and this prosperity that you have been delivering us, Father God. And thank you so much because you know what? Virgo got some strong people. I Listen, I wish in the energy that I've been getting in the Virgo reading, how your family and your friends and the people that love you stick up for you and fight for you i really wish that i had that you know what i'm saying because i'm truly a loner you know what i'm saying so i'll be having to fight through certain energies and deal with certain things on my own and by myself and for people to have a good sense of family and community and just really have that camaraderie around them it's a blessing so i want to say shout out to all my virgos to everyone who's been supporting my virgos because there are just some soft-hearted real genuine good people out there that are not confrontational that don't be about a whole bunch of drama but your mama might be okay so you look like what, what, what you won't do what you won't say your family and your friends i got no problem saying it for you they be like uh-uh back up i got i got this i got the back up back up i go sit down and cool your boots this ain't even what you do let me go ahead and knock this <laughs> I swear, y'all, it's been some of y'all Virgo readers, y'all, y'all, I, I be like, what? Like, yes, God! Like, I'm trying to tell y'all, I love doing y'all's readers, man. I really, really do. Y'all are really good, genuine, soft-spoken, good people. Y'all just aim for perfection. And y'all don't have any problem with doing some self-reflection as well. So, I love my Virgos. Um, thank you so much for supporting me and for supporting each other. And shout out to everyone that's been supporting y'all and holding y'all down. Y'all got a really, really good unit around you. So, shout out to them. I want to send love and like to everyone that's been um, holding my Virgos down. And, like, Virgos been stepping into their own power. Like, they be seeing how their family are jumping and kick ass for them and shit like that. And they be like, nah, I ain't even about to get my family in this one. I'm about to stand up to y'all bitches on my own. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all been growing into your own, you know. And um, that's a beautiful thing sometimes when people learn how to take back their own power. So, um, I just want to say thank you. Father God, and anybody that is new to my channel, yes, I do cuss and pray. God know me, and God loves me regardless, okay? Trust and believe. You got God got his little, he got his earth angels, his warriors, and I am one of them, okay? I will pray and kick some ass at the same damn time, okay? So listen, Virgo already know what's up. They look, they mama cuss, smoke, and pray, <laughs> drink and pray. <laughs> We all got that one mother, that auntie, that grandma, that me boss up like that. She be sitting right there with her new pants and her naughty head and shit. And she will cut your ass out and every Sunday we'll get up and go to church and praise Jesus. It ain't what you gonna say about it. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. Nathan, Nathaniel, Nasford, you ain't gonna say a damn thing. But sit your ass and mind your damn business. Anyway, so, oh God, give us some guidance to the day. Thank you so much for the glory. They don't know our story, Father God. Uh, please give us the wisdom that we need to reach forth today and let have and you know, push us forward towards our future. Thank you so much for just, you know, keeping us highly ele elevated and away from the BS. You know what I'm saying? So um, I love you and thank you for loving us. And um, give us guidance today for our Virgos for October 2019. Let's get it. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to get into this Moonology. We're going to see what Spirit has in store. The type of moon energy, how the moon cycles are affecting our current moods and things. Ooh. No, mm, 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 No, you're not. No, you're not. Oh. God said, yes, you is. Yes, you is. Yes, you is. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. We got two special moons. 
two special moon phases. It says conclusions are within reach. The full moon eclipse. That's a beautiful moon, y'all. Conclusions are within reach. All right. Then you got the gibbous moon. You are very close to achieving your gold. I love that energy. Y'all got two special moons. Two special moon phases, y'all. This is amazing. And then you got the full moon in Aries. A fiery climax approaches. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. They go your auntie. They go your sister. About to bust a nigga in their face. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what you mean a fiery climax is about to come? Like, what's that mean? Like, I'm almost scared now. I'm almost scared. Don't be scared. Bitch, get prepared. You know, that's what I always say. Okay, brother, hold on. <clears throat> Let me get myself together. Because this can be any kind of weather coming over here. Because I know Virgo family. Good Lord Jesus. Lord have mercy. What we got going on? What we got going on? We got two special moon phases. And a fiery climax with the Aries. Aries, keep it there, please. Do y'all know how crazy Aries are when they got the going and, and, and pop up? Y'all, I don't even think y'all understand what we about to get into right now. Y'all don't even understand what we about to get into right now. Okay? Y'all know what to get. I'm reloading. Okay? I need to keep my pistol on handy because we... <laughs> What type of unicorn energy is <laughs> it's my Virgos? What is going on with all these it, all these threes? It's a celebration, okay? Celebration, eh? Okay, shout out to Mona Simone from Age Connection TV. <laughs> That's where I be getting that from. Growth. Celebration and growth. I love that. That's, that's beautiful. What's this? Compassion. Okay, I like this. I like this. So conclusions are within reach. We're, ve we're getting very close to our goals. And it's going to be a fiery climax as this approaches. So it looks like we're celebrating our blessings here. Looks like we've grown a lot. And we've seen to regain compassion. This says a positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success. Enjoy your achievements. You're very close to achieving your in, in threes. Like, y'all are very, very creative right now. Y'all are, uh, y'all are manifesting y'all dreams. Um, whatever you've been manifesting, whatever you've been trying to achieve goal, goal wise, you're definitely about with, with these two threes here. Three and three equals six. Six is like, generosity is love it's commitment it's you know relationships you know being founded and, and, and bonded together you know celebration growth oh looks like a birth of a child it says seek out a mentor or guide Take baby steps as you grow be willing to learn from others this is like your spirit guide or an elder who you've been getting a lot of communication from. The number three represents communication too. Um, Self-expression, being social, artistic, energetic, very creative. So um, you guys could have just changed a career um, and you're celebrating uh, the fact that you are moving on and you're actually doing things that you're a little bit more passionate about. This says, be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. Mm -hmm. mm, you've been set free. Okay. We know y'all been trying to get free out of a situation for a minute. But y'all kept this. It, it, it be calling me. It be calling me. I'm sorry. Spirit told me to go here to this love deck. Love Oracle deck first. Which I normally leave that for the last. But they just told me to go here first. Give me guidance and love. I think we need to deal with that first. 
Okay, so this says, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul, your memories that you have shared with those that you love. I just, I was just told, so don't waste your time on those that don't love you. And that's why I feel like you are celebrating because you've come to conclusions with a situation that has something to do with love. And I, that's why I told y'all, fuck a fucking bitch. Mm -mm. It says the past is now behind you. Release it and celebrate new possibilities. A new path is now available. Follow it with faith. Uh, I fucking knew that y'all were finally breaking up with this person. And this person about to show their whole entire ass. Didn't I tell, didn't I tell y'all I felt like I had to keep the goddamn gap fucking handy? I told you. I told, bitch. I told you. I will expose you. Okay. I will expose you. I don't. Whoever this person is, whoever this person is, like to like like to stay like to keep Papa off, fuck around with Virgo and keep be about like a nanosecond again. They ass with fucking around with Virgo. This person gonna learn to leave Virgo well enough to goddamn alone. If they got people around it that will pop them in their motherfucking ass. Like why this person don't get it? Let me let me let me let me let me look. The three of wands. Waiting for your ships to come in. Like, you just waiting, Virgo. You are waiting. Waiting for the movers to come so that you can move. Huh? Mm -hmm. Let's keep going. Come on, y'all celebrating. Y'all about to get y'all a new apartment. Okay? You're achieving your goals. You finally getting the hell away from this idiot. You are idiot. And this motherfucking idiot. Let's see. Y'all are finally growing. And y'all listening to y'all spirit guy. Y'all listening to y'all mentor. I'm hearing it's your grandmother. You've been talking to your grandmother and your family a lot again. Because it's like, listen. <laughs> Give me guidance for my Virgos for October. The Seven of Wands. The King of Wands. Yeah, I mean, like I told y'all, y'all been going through this goddamn battle for a minute and like always having to feel like you're having to defend yourself against this person that you y'all been dealing with a very combative and controlling person. Like this is this is something that's been evident for a minute. But y'all know y'all King of Wands shit. Like y'all are willing to listen with that chameleon. Chameleons can walk through fire from what I understand. And I want to say with that chameleon, like, you guys have been trying to play the peacemaker. I feel like y'all are buying y'all time with this shit. It's like you got your, you on guard. And you prepared to defend yourself against adversity, of course. You know what I'm saying? You ain't never putting your guard down. And you know that this motherfucker always got something to say. Always accusing you of something. Always talking about some rumor, some gossip of what they heard. Oh, I heard your family. I heard your sister say this. Yeah, my sister said this. And she'll bust you in your motherfucking mouth too. But instead of you actually saying that, you keep that shit in your brain. And you putting on your cool face, okay, with that King of Wands energy. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you got to be diplomatic. The death car, I told you. I told you. You see that black tourmaline down there? Y'all are. I got. Look. Y'all think I'm playing. Y'all be thinking I'm playing. I be keeping black tourmaline in my bra. And smoky quartz in my bra. Listen. This. This person right here. Has a staff with smoky quartz at the tip. Y'all see it? Baby this is smoky quartz right here. I just pulled this shit out of my fucking bra. <laughs> I just pulled the quartz out of my bra. You know what? The smoky quartz like literally helps you with grounding yourself. It helps you with keeping yourself. It's a grounding stone. Like this is a big ass piece of black tourmaline. I'm trying to tell you I just pulled the shit out of my bra. I keep it on me to keep negative energy away from me. To repel it away from me. And it can repel it from even myself. Like anytime I start... Thinking low or bad thoughts, or, you know what I'm saying? Even bad with energy within myself. Black tourmaline, smoky quartz. And I literally, like I said, had these motherfuckers in my bra. If I, I keep it close to my skin. I keep it close to my skin. 
Y'all might be experiencing a lot of nightmares and stuff too. That's what Smoky Quartz is very, very good helping you with. Making sure that you are not carrying your anxieties and your fears into the 5D. You know what I'm saying? When you're sleeping and when you're in your unconscious mind. And, you know, unless you have a certain ability and gifts where when you over there in that dream state that you kind of have a little bit control of what's going on over there. If you're not at that place in that point in your life, it could be kind of hectic. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're going to bed next to the devil. You know what I'm saying? And you're feeling like you're being controlled. You're being held back. You're always having to defend yourself and you're always arguing and like, oh, and it's not even nothing about you. It's literally because of this person's insecurity. Like you're battling a war against this idiot and their insecurities and you're literally doing nothing. Like for real, what are you even doing wrong? Like, and I'm not trying to make it seem like Virgo is like a perfect person or nothing but for as long as I've been doing this Virgo is like really a sweet person is a sweet person Virgo is just very attractive and I think that this person is insecure because Virgo is very attractive you know has a very nice sensitive and soft personality people love Virgo so it's like I gotta defend myself because I'm attractive because I'm a go-getter because what I'm, I'm trying to transform. I don't want to be with you anymore. I don't want to be with you no more. I'm not going to keep defending myself in my decision. Ashes to ashes to dust to dust. You're not going to bring no stress, no harm to me. You know, whatever you try to send to me, negative thoughts, negative energy with this black terminate, I'm going to send that shit right back to you. Return to sender. Return to sender. This will be the day that they remember you would send them back their own reflection. What in the hell? It'll be a day that they will remember. You see how this... You see how this baby is armored up? Their head, their ears, everything. Their chest, their neck is armored up. Like, they're not playing. Like, they're not playing. They done did a return to spend uh, to sender spell. You know what I'm saying? Any type of negative energy, all of that drama, all of that chaos, all that arguing and shit like that. You can take that shit and go sit back down and, and, and deal with that yourself. Because I'm not going to deal with it no more. I'm not going to deal with it no more. I feel like Virgo has protected themselves. They got some crystal armor. They got armor on their body. They got armor on their soul. They got family that got their back. It's just like, look, I'm not... Listen... They got a dragon spirit, like a warrior spirit with that um, King of Wands energy. Like they, they are prepared to fight this time. They've grown up enough where it's like, I don't, I don't need my family to keep fighting my battles with me. A page of swords. This person is stalking you down boots. You don't cut this person out. You don't move the head and stuff like that. And this person still contacting you wanting to argue about shit. Like, why the fuck are you even calling me? Did not end shit with you. We're not even together no more. So why are you still in my business? Why are you still watching? And it's like. <sighs> ooh, 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 ooh. Okay now. Anything else for. <laughs> Six of cups. What is this? Oh, oh my. In the name of Jesus. In thy name of Jesus, Louises. Okay. 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 So, this person that y'all deal are uh, dealing with or you were used to deal with. Number one, what's going on? This person that you used to deal with, they're in this. Like I said, in a stalking phase, they're watching you. They're watching every little thing that you do. And they're trying to pull the swords out of their back. Because I, I swear they didn't think that you would ever leave them. They didn't think that you were brave enough. And, like, the more and more that they see 
how far you got away. It's like they feel like it's piercing into their soul. You know what I'm saying? And they, it's like an anger that's brewing and festering in them because they felt like you would never be strong enough to leave them mentally that they had some type of control over you where they felt like they were your weakness and that you will always do what they say and that you would never really amount to nothing without them like this is someone that was like very verbal abusive very verbally manipulative they might have been physically no I'm not gonna say they might have been they were definitely physically abusive most definitely and Virgo got the fuck away from me it don't matter if you're a male or female Virgo got tired of defending itself. Defending myself for what? You are the one that's insecure. Do you understand what I'm saying? You the one to keep jumping out there getting in the conclusions about whatever the fuck it is you think that you see or whatever the hell you think it is that you're hearing. To even in your own fucking thoughts and delusion. Like this is someone that is very fucking delusional. Delusional to the... Like this person needs some help. Whoever this person is, like, really needs some help. They have a control issue. A control issue towards the way where they don't feel any way. They, like... They don't have any problems. If they're not getting what they want, use it. Very harsh words to try to tear you down. To make you feel like you're not shit. And if that ain't working, they will put their hands on you. It has nothing to do with Virgo. It has everything to do with them, their own securities. Because they're a fucking nut job. That's why y'all fanned me a long time ago. Say, uh-uh, Virgo, back up. Uh-uh, I got you. Don't say not a damn more thing to this person. I'm going to beat this bitch ass for you. Um, call, call everybody else. Call, yeah, call Rudy. Call Rudy crazy ass. Because he love to shoot that motherfucker. Call Rudy. Okay? Tell that nigga to pick up a bottle of Jameson too. Because we going to need that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to take a couple sit, Then we going to set some shit on fire. Because this bitch. Mm-mm. I'm not about to do her. I'm about to sit here and get my ass stupid ass motherfucker drunk so I can have that liquid courage to beat this bitch ass. Because you're going to stop fucking with my brother. This is your sister. It's your crazy ass sister. <laughs> Look, the sister done called the crazy ass cousin that just got out of prison, Rudy. Rudy ain't got no problem going back to goddamn jail and raise hell. Sister in the corner singing fruit cocktail, rock and rock and tweet, tweet, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you your family get crazy fucking goddamn. How you so sweet and nice and everybody else and your family fucking crazy as shit? Like I like you like oh my god. It's like the way that they protect this Virgo. I like I swear I love it. I I fucking love it. Sweet people like that need strong, crazy motherfuckers around them. Because I don't know what it was about this person that... I, that I don't know how they got mixed... How Virgo got mixed up with this person. But Virgo has grown. Has grown. They've released themselves. And they, they got away. But this person... This person... Is still... Within an inner conflict about this separation. They, they're still calling you. And they're talking about shit that they're seeing online. And they feel some type of way because they see Virgo out. Having a good time with their friends and family. They don't have any control anymore. As you can see Virgo has walked off from them. And they're galloping into a new city. There's definitely movement. Didn't I say that y'all were moving or something? Y'all was waiting to move or something like that. I could have sworn I seen that come out. And the sun is shining in Virgo's light and in their life. This person is trying to stalk Virgo to figure out where they're moving, where they're going. They were left behind. They feel betrayed. This person feels like, how could you let your family... And your friends come in between what we had. They felt like they were in control. 
they're trying to get over this but the more and more that they try to get over it it's like they almost like these like all like these are all of these sorts of thoughts. All of these crazy ass thoughts that they put in their brain about how Virgo stabbed them in the back, how Virgo manipulated them, how Virgo was doing wrong to them. And it's like, is you fucking crazy? They are. This motherfucker is out of their goddamn mind. They're not taking no responsibility what the fuck so ever. For the demise of this relationship. They don't see that they're... They, they, they literally cannot see anything that they did. Nothing. At all. Virgo cut their losses. And they got out of there before shit got dangerous. Like dangerous. And it's like even though they broke up. Virgo is still communicating with this person just trying to compromise and to agree to disagree because I think that Virgo knows how fucking psycho and deranged that this person is and they just don't want them to go off on the far end. Do you understand what I'm saying? Virgo is in a whole new totally look over the three or so Virgo has met someone new Virgo has met someone new. This is emotional giving and receiving Almost childlike, like this is rose colored glasses. This is like, I can't, is that? Y'all might be in the same sex uh, relationship. I don't know if Virgo switched up and they decided they wanted to be in the same sex situation or maybe that they were in the same sex situation. Um, this might be someone that they know from childhood or something like that, that Maybe they always had a crush on that they were just never able to express the way that they felt because maybe they felt like it might have been a little bit of taboo. You know, um, this is a female energy. This is a female energy. I always look at the um, unicorns with the pink hair. I always take that as female, but it could be vice versa. It doesn't have to be a female. It doesn't have to be a female. Yo, 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 okay, because there is the male, the male is the king of wands, he's the one that came through and ended everything. He's the one that came through and ended everything. It's this woman that feels stabbed in the back. She's the one that's always accusing, coming at someone with all this gossip and hoopla. And he's just moving on doing whatever the fuck he wants to do. I feel like I really want to say that this delusional one, that this delusional one, I want to say that she's she's messing with another female. I don't know. I don't know if I should have paid attention to the sex of the cards because it really shouldn't really have anything to do with the sex in the card. But I feel like the woman that y'all might have left, that this is a male Virgo. Either this is the same sex situation or this is a man that got tired of this woman's bullshit because she's fucking crazy. Left her. This bitch is feeling backstabbed and betrayed and coming up with all of these weird ass fucking reasons and shit how this person did something fucked up to them the shit was hella volatile now they now this girl doesn't want to be with men anymore and now she's dating women she's dating women she went back to her past of dating women i feel like this woman was dating other women before you 
and like whatever type of lesbian relationship that they had it was violence and shit there too I want to say this person recommitted themselves to something in the past I feel like this person was in the same sex LGBTQIA and all the rest of the alphabet type of relationship prior these two females like this girl could have been fucking with her best friend or some shit or someone that she was trying to pose as a friend while y'all were in a relationship Virgo if this is a Virgo male if this was a Virgo male I feel like this person was messing around with a female and y'all didn't know that shit. I don't know why I'm getting that shit so strong. Why, like, my attention went to that so strong. And now this person is like, because Virgo's left and is not coming back. This person is still trying to come out of this heartbreak and everything like that and feeling betrayed by the Virgo. And still wants to argue and do all of this shit. But this person has the freedom and the ability to look at their other options now. And they're confused. This is someone confused. And I really feel like this is someone confused about their sexuality. And that might be another reason why they were so disrespectful and mean to Virgo. Because it's like, you're bisexual. And it's like, how can you be loving and committed and warm and compassionate to the man that you come to every night when you're really in this down low lesbian relationship with this friend of yours? And it's like you hated him and you were mean to him and you were vindictive and you were nasty and you were rude. And it was like every day that he was with you, you hated him. But you didn't really want him to go nowhere. And I feel like a lot of it has to do with. I want to say like this person was a fucking. Like a cover up or something like that. Like I want to say that this person has been messing around with this friend of theirs for a long, long time. I don't think that anyone ever knew about it. But now this person is like, well, shit, Virgo is gone. There's nothing I could do about it. Suffer or stalk the fuck out of them and you know every time this person calls you she want to com continue to complain and talk about shit in the past or want to bring up shit in the past where things were good but it's like like I don't want to fucking talk to you like that listen this Virgo with this knight of pentacles is moving on elsewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like Virgo is focused on their money. They're focused on their foundation. Like they're about to start a new business. Virgo is not worried about this confused ass woman in this shit. And it's like, I want to say that Virgo kind of had an idea that it was some type of underlying extra shit going on with this girl and her friend because every time some shit would go down with Virgo and this girl. The friend was always like this girl let her friend jump and like them two would like jump the Virgo. You know what I'm saying? And the girlfriend and her friend will always be you know what I'm saying? The friend was always in the midst of the drama. Do you understand what I'm saying? Three of, three of swords in the Virgo. And it's the fucking rainbow. Bro, I'm trying to tell you it was some lesbian. Bitch, you're going to make me motherfucking pull my... And then the temperance card out. Virgo is balanced. They got hope and faith into the future. No, 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 bitch. Because you're not about to do me right now. Because you're not going to do me like you knew me. You're not going to do me like you knew me. And I'm not fucking tripping. Y'all not about to do me like that. Uh-uh. Y'all mm -hmm. Y'all not about to do me. Y'all are absolutely the fuck not. You're not going to do it. You are not going to do it. Uh -uh. We got we to gotta go deeper, y'all. Because y'all not about to fucking play with me right now. Y'all are not about to play with me. I promise you. Not going to make me sit here and feel like I'm motherfucking crazy. When I'm trying to tell you with some down low goddamn lesbian shit going on up in this motherfucker. And that's why that bitch was so goddamn angry with you. Because she wanted to be with her female lover. Okay? She wanted to treat you like the stepbrother. As long as you was there to pay the motherfucking bills. Like, uh-uh. No, 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 no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. 
Y'all not about to have me snip here feeling like I'm motherfucking crazy. Nope. Mm -mm. Let's get into some love. Let's get into it. Mm -mm. Let's get into it, Father God. Clear this up for me. Mm -mm. What's going on, Father? What's going on with Virgo and love? Cycles. Yes. Virgo ended that crazy-ass, toxic-ass cycle. Yes, God. Intuition led them to, to do it. What is this? Yes, Virgo is no longer settling. It's child's play. Listen, Virgo felt like they were dealing with a whole bunch of goddamn children. I ain't got time to do. Because your bitch got one more time to hop up in my face and I'm going to call my sister and have that bitch whoop her ass. Okay? I ain't playing. Y'all not about to do me. Y'all are not about to do me right here. Give me guidance and love for this for, for, uh, Virgos for October. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Mm -mm. What's this here? What is this here? The God, the God, like Virgo had to forcefully be guided out of the situation. What we all, we all knew that. I feel like Virgo really could not see clearly until they were away from the situation. Honestly, like Virgo thought that this was their divine feminine. You know, they really looked at this person like this was the one that I was going to marry. But at the same time, like, there's not going to be no return. There's not going to be no return in this situation. Virgo doesn't want to return in this situation. Virgo is looking for the true divine feminine. Do you understand? And, yeah, what is this? Recognition. Virgo is in a search for the true divine feminine. And they needed someone to help guide them out of this situation because they couldn't see. But they had to end this cycle because they could not continue to settle. If they didn't trust their God and move, they wouldn't be on this journey to their true divine feminine now. And they know that they can't return. This fall, this fall, like I, I want to say that this recognition and stuff like that. Listen, this recognition in, in the reverse. This fall in the recognition. Like, there's not going to be no return. No return to sender. Like, none of this shit. Like, it, like nothing is going to pop off this fall, Virgo. I don't feel like you're going to meet your divine feminine this fall. Because you're still having issues with this guy, with you being guided. It's still something that you, it's like, I don't know why. I feel like Virgo's intuition is, is blocked. That I'm trying to tell you, like, this girl, this per, whoever this person is, whoever this person is, and then you got understanding at the under, at the beneath. It's like, you had to be shown and given the light. It's like, I want to say, and I really don't like saying shit like this. That's why I had to like pull my tourmaline out of. Let me pull this goddamn tourmaline out. God damn it. In this goddamn. I had to pull this out because I want to say this person that you have left. Even though this person really didn't want to be with you. This person is like low key in a gay relationship. I mean sis if you want to be gay be gay. Don't have no man around just because you want him to pay your bills. And shit like that. And like no no. And you want to just use this person as your punching bag. Your verbal punching bag and shit like no. Because this shit made this whole feel better. This bitch got issues. Let's keep that shit 100. She ain't no divine feminine. I want y'all to keep y'all tourmaline. And y'all um smoky quartz on you. These are two stones that I really feel like resonates highly with this energy because this person is like we i don't feel like this person is skilled enough to do no magic or nothing like that but it's like i i don't want you but i don't want nobody else to want you neither so they like try to tear you down and rip you self-esteem wise because they were self-esteem fucked up they don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, they can't live their truth. They can't be who they are and stuff like that. And if they can't be happy, they don't want to see, they don't want to see nobody else happy. Like, this person that you were dealing with has emotional issues, emotional trauma. And you know, like, how they're just people that's just, like, never happy for other people. Like, that's this bitch. You know what I'm saying? 
I heard that she just has a very religious family. Like, she can't go home in a lesbian relationship with other, you know what I'm saying, to her family. Because I feel like she had a very abusive home. Like, her mother was a drunk and used to beat the shit out of her or something like that. And she has a tumultuous childhood and things like that. But that don't have nothing to do with Virgo. You don't, if you, if you came from an abusive relationship and you could, I mean relationship in your home environment and you couldn't be who the hell you wanted to be why would you come and abuse someone else and think that someone is going to tolerate that shit that's why you almost had your ass beat by virgo family virgo is not settling no more they they it took a long time for them to close this cycle and for whatever reason the door is still slightly open because anytime that this woman calls virgo still answers the phone call and deals with this abuse virgo Finally, close this motherfucker cycle. Stop answering the call. And the reason why your guide card is in the reverse and that you are not really being intuitively guided like that is because this person is blocking that. They're sending like negative energy to you. Like I said, this person don't know how to do no juju or no serious shit. I know when I see some bitches, then I do some juju. I know I could feel that shit in the car. This bitch don't know what she's doing. She just... People don't understand when you wishing negative against people like that is like some negative energy towards somebody and you constantly it's mental abuse. You know what I'm saying? Where you constantly, constantly putting, putting someone down towards the way that they believe it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like Virgo doesn't really trust their intuition to guide them the right way. In regards to this love situation. Because they have dealt with so much mental abuse. And they want to be guided to a true divine feminine. But they don't. They don't know what it looks like. They've been literally told this whole time. That they're not good enough. There's something wrong with them. Everything that they do. Is an argument. Energy alignment. You need to erase this girl's name out of your fucking vocabulary don't even speak this hoe's name again for real scrabbles scrap it okay new board do you understand you need to get your energy aligned okay and you need to speak different names not that name it says your hard work and determination is creating blessings 444 foundations for the future okay especially if you've been seeing these for listen your hard work and your effort is starting to pay off. Do you understand? Conclusions are within reach. You are very close to achieving your goal, but there's going to be a fire, fiery climax. This person is not going to let you go without them getting the last say, without them getting the last punch. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you think you get in the way, but this person is like, not this fall. But you can't determine that. And then you're getting another um, spirit number. It says 888. New opportunities and abundance are coming your way soon, Virgo. So you got a 444 and 888 and a lot of dark blue. A lot of deep dark blue. There's going to be a lot of tranquility. A lot of peace. A lot of rebuilding around you. Okay? And I see. Keep praying upon. The, listen. You remove. This person cannot cannot abuse you anymore that force that they had over you they can't do it it's been removed only thing they can do is continue to put you down verbally but that's only if you let them don't answer the fucking phone for this person virgo do you understand me do not answer the fucking phone Pro protect yourself so that you can really find the right woman for you this person is trying to limit your thinking limit your intuition so that you cannot be guided by spirit so you are not trusting your own energy you are not trusting the energy of your loved ones you are not trusting the energy of your spirit guys and where god is trying to lead you i promise you like you've already removed the listen clinging Ivy, do not listen. This was in the reverse. Do not let this person cling to you no more. None. Stop it. This person, like, and you are gone. Stop it. Stop answering the phone for this person. I'm not playing with you. What is this saying? The eye, the eye, the hourglass. Time is slipping. You, you're not realizing. That how precious your time is. Do not give this person any of your time. 
I told y'all the fall we're going to have it all. This person does not want you to get your energy alignment. They don't want you to forget their name. They don't want you to. They're still trying to use their force from afar and they're still trying to cling to you. Do not allow this to happen. What is this saying? Starfish, safe passages. They don't want to see you go safely. They want to make your life a living fucking hell. No. <laughs> you know. <laughs> hey, Mo. You know on the Dave Chappelle show. Oop, look. The belt. Punishment. Stop allowing this person any type of force in your life. Where's the, um. Where's the, the, the fucking shadow that. Where's the shadow that? Where's the shadow that? Um, what's that? What it's like a the Dave Chappelle show? It's like when um he's playing Samuel L. Jackson. He's like something, 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 and I hope that they burn in hell. <laughs> like that's what the fuck just popped in my brain. <laughs> like man, this bitch is like literally off her fucking bonkers. Let me know what's going on in the shadows, y'all. I have not pulled these cards out in such a long time, but I. I haven't even got to the other spread, y'all. It's about to be long, my nigga. It's my last reading anyway, so it's cool. It's cool. Today I got time, cuz. <laughs> For my lovely tea. <laughs> How many of y'all watch lovely tea every time in her video? She be like, today I got time, cuz. That means? <laughs> today I got time, cuz. What's going on in the shadow? I feel like something flipped over. Did it? What's going on in the shadows that Virgo needs to know about to protect themselves? What's going on in the shadow? What is going on in the shadows that um, Virgo needs to know to protect themselves? Yeah. This is robotic. I feel like you keep doing things and you keep talking to this person because you see self-indulgence. Oh, like this bitch cannot control herself. Insecure. Fix it. Oh, I fucking told you the bitch is psycho. Didn't I tell you this bitch is psycho? This, this whore is psycho. Listen. It's robotic. You see how that's right there by the throat chakra? You can't help but you are just used to talking to this person and yourself being aligned. Like it says, that name, energy alignment. You're just so, it, it, it's like mechanical for you to continue to have this back and forth, back and forth, come and go, come and go. Deal with this abuse. It's normal. It's okay. She's not. No. Stop it. You understand what I'm saying? Stop. Dealing with this punishment, this self-indulgent abuse. Do you see this? You see how this person be growling at? You see this energy behind this card? This person cannot literally control their self, their venom, and their anger. This person is, I want to say dangerous. This person is a danger to their motherfucker self. Listen to me. This, I did not tell you that this motherfucking bitch is insecure. It, this shit don't have nothing to do with you. And right now, she is fixated on you this bitch is crying this bitch is drinking she is on some motherfucking um what the fuck acrimony ass shit staying up late at night stalking your instagram page every hour on the hour checking to see if you post the shit seeing who the fuck writing shit in your comments Block this hoe from all social media so this bitch can't see you. Nothing. Put all your shit as private. If there's anybody that you know that this this whole friend um that could possibly have access to your page, block they ass too. And it's not helping this bitch's mental health state. Not at all. What does Virgo need to do to deal with their self in their shadow? What does Virgo need to do to fix their self? Yo. And you see that pumpkin? And the black candles? Some shit about to go down in Halloween, yo. Some shit about to go down in Halloween, my nigga. And you see how she's wearing that red? 
This bitch has anger issues. Do you understand what I'm saying? Forceful. Stop allowing this person to be forceful and calling to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? You see how that wolf is hollering at the moon? Stop allowing this person to be to force their self on you, Virgo. Do you understand what I'm saying? Stop. Do not. This person only has control if you let them. You do not have to communicate. You do not have to talk to this person. And I'm trying to tell you, if you feel like this person would do something to you, and now I, I am, is, is this a lesbian relationship? Cowardly. This is in reverse. I need you to reverse that you feeling cowardly. I need you to, I feel like you, is, you allow this person to push their force on you because I'm trying to tell you, they have mentally, emotionally, and verbally abused you to the point that you got to get over the fact feeling like you scared to move on. Because, I mean, and, and like I said, even your family kind of know that there was, and I, I'm not calling you a coward. I'm reading the cards, but I told you before, like, your family know that you're not going to stick up for yourself. And they haunted. You're haunted by this relationship. It's like, you can't let go. And what is this? Shocking. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't mean to, like say some shit that first off this is the shadow deck so this deck is not going to be all peaches and herbs but y'all had to hear this shit do you understand what i'm saying y'all literally had to hear this shit because i want y'all to know the extreme and how serious this is virgo do you understand this person is not a good person for you a fiery climax approaches this bitch is crazy do not think that this bitch will not literally Go to the edge. And that cowardly card. They look at you like you're a fucking bitch. Like you're a coward. They can put their force and control over you. That you're not going to stop it. You're not going to do anything about it. Like I feel like this person is not that crazy. Because they really don't want to deal with your family. But their mental is so fucked up. That when they get in this. When they get in this right here. And it goes backwards and they can't control their self. They're so self-indulgent and fixated like that. It's like they're really not thinking. They're really not thinking and then really not thinking nothing about your family. They're still going to try to force their self on you because you're not going to do nothing about it. And for a long time, you didn't tell your family about it at all. You're like, you're a little bitch. You're not going to tell no fucking body. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to tell nobody. And that's what they think. Like, you're not going to go get help. And you're going to allow this person to continue to control and abuse you. And I'm really now I'm thinking that this really is a lesbian relationship. Um, now I'm thinking that this is an abusive a lesbian relationship. I want to say that the masculine female is the one. Is ever a lesbian or gay relationship? Whatever. Total LGBT. The masculine energy was the one that was getting abused on by the feminine energy. Bro, please clarify this for me, please. What is this? The three of fucking spades, yo. I'm trying to tell you. There was big time fucking cheating going on. Big time. Big time. This motherfucker played their role with you like, oh, God. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person only had you around to pay bills and to do whatever the fuck they needed you to do. Do you understand what I'm saying? So they can continue to be with who they really wanted to be with. Evidence is two dudes that was with each other. Or it's, it's, it was two females that was with each other. And someone had a man playing the role. To be the cover up and mistreated and abused and cheated on this person a whole fucking relationship with their little fake ass friend, man. I'm trying to tell you. But at the end of the day, they don't want you, but they don't want nobody else to want you. I know it sounds crazy, but it's the fuck not, young. I promise you, it's fucking not. I've seen people like this. I've seen crazy, deranged ass motherfuckers like this. They don't want you, but they don't want nobody else to want you. You are their property. When they say jump, you jump. When they say go, you say motherfucker when and how high. 
what makes them feel better about their self is to be able to hurt and control other people. Bro. Queen of Hearts. Y'all will possibly be dealing with a water sign of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, female. What is this? The Jack of Spades. And the Four of Fucking Spades. I'm... I cannot reiterate the abuse, the abuse, the abuse, the abuse, the a fucking abuse. The fucking abuse, the abuse, the abuse, the abuse, the abuse. Do you understand? The Jack of Spades is a fucking bully card. That is literally the bully card in fucking Cardamancy. And then the, and then the fourth the goddamn Spades card is, is warning you that you need to take a break for your mental health and safety. You need to go on bed rest. You need to chill the fuck out, mo. Let me clarify this for y'all, because I swear I would never lie to y'all, man. And I know I'm not fucking tripping, my nigga. I am not fucking tripping, yo. My motherfucker, no, hold on. For, for, okay. Let, let's start from the beginning. Three of spades. Traditionally, a card of loss, deception, lies, misunderstanding, confusion, a growing problem, a worsening condition, deterioration. Disease, uh, infection, third party interference, a third wheel meddling, a love triangle, what goes on behind the scenes, trials, tribulation, a test, an exam. Y'all go get yourself tested. Get yourself tested. The four fucking spades, yo. Illness, recuperation, the end in the need for caution. A sick bed. What did it just say? It just said somebody got a fucking STD in this situation. The hospital room. A coffin. A jail cell. Rest. Confinement. Exhaustion. The need to take it easy. Moving at a slower pace. Bedridden. Feeling fenced in. Staying at home. An unhealthy situation. Feeling trapped. Feeling sick and tired. This is going to either, if you do not take caution and take heed to what the fuck I'm saying and stop communicating with this crazy psychopathic ass motherfucker. If this motherfucker got somebody else that they fuck with, let them deal with that crazy shit. Let them. This shit, one of y'all gonna end up dead or in fucking jail. I'm not lying. I, I, if I'm lying, I'm flying. If I'm lying, I'm flying. And if it's not going to be you, it's going to be the person that you fucking with because one of your family's going to fuck around and kill this bitch. I am not playing. Now, I don't want to take it that motherfucker serious, but I'm serious. Like, your family is not playing about you. Your family knows about this shit. They are not going to continue to allow this, Virgo. And you have to understand that you have to take some sense of responsibility for the danger that you are putting your family into. I don't want none of your family going to jail trying to protect you from this fucking idiot. Listen, this is the bully car. And you see this? This is frigid, cold energy to jack of space. A skillful, clever young person. Most often a male, but as you can see, it's a female on this card. A soldier, a cadet, a police officer. Okay? I told you the police is going to be called. A young person from a foreign country may be unsettled, erratic, emotionally inconsistent, a troubled youth, a bully, emotionally inconsistent. Oh, I already said that. A gang member. Juvenile delinquent, cold, calculating, emotionally controlled, detached, a liar, a spy. Didn't I tell you this motherfucker was watching you and could represent dark thoughts? Didn't I tell you this? This motherfucker is crazy. Abusive, a bully, a liar, a cheater. They think they gangster, but that gang member being there. Emotionally inconsistent, erratic, and unsettling. A spy. Controlled. Yo. Y'all don't have to listen to me. And then here you go right here. I'm really, I'm really, I'm, I'm really thinking that this is a lesbian relationship. This is, this is a lesbian relationship now. I'm really, really thinking that this is a lesbian relationship. Yo, 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 yo. This, 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 this right here. 
this shit right here, this shit right here, you, the conclusions are within reach. You are very close to achieving your goal. If you are gone, stay gone. Stop talking to this person, period, yo. The more and more you're talking to this person and they're not getting what they want and they don't have that reach and that grasp and that control over you, you are, it's, it, it's festering. You understand what I'm saying? I'd rather you just cut it all off altogether so they can get over it and let it go. And whoever they fucking with, let them continue to fuck with it. Look, there's no sensitivity here. This person is not thinking about your feelings or slowing down or toning it down at all. There's a lack of sensitivity. Yo. Uh, what is this? And the spirit is telling you to take your power back. Yo, Virgo, for like for real, because I'm scared. Like, this bitch scares me. I be forgetting, like, sometimes how extreme this energy be in these motherfucking readings with you. Look, career transition. You need to change your job, too, because this motherfucker might come up to your job. If they can't find you and you ain't talking to them, they going to come and try to get you fired from your job. Like, this motherfucker is crazy. Crazy. You need to change your job. Every fucking thing that you've been doing, you need to you need to make big, major, major movements. Do you understand? What is this courage? Please be strong. Listen. Y'all, please listen to me. Listen to me. I'm not playing, man. And I'm sorry to, to sound... Now I'm sounding erratic and like a crazy motherfucker. But, like, I'm serious. Like, y'all don't understand what I'm saying. Like, y'all not feeling what I'm feeling right now. This is not a joke, y'all. Please don't take this shit for no motherfucking joke. Because, like, this Virgo, whoever this is, they be like, oh, they're not going to do anything. Yes, they fucking will. This is like acrimony. This motherfucker is crazy. The star. You are a star. Like, you know your worth. You've come very far, and I am extremely proud of you. You did get away. Stay away. Stay away. Change your job. Change your location. Fuck it. Shut your internet. They're like, cut. Like, just... Close out your old fucking page and start a brand new motherfucking Facebook page. Keep that shit locked, private, and, like, seriously. I need you to keep your family and your friends, people that really fuck with you on speed dial. Like, I really want you to understand how important it is to know your worth and that you are worth better and to take care of yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? From what I see, you are moving forward and trying to... You ended it and you are moving forward and trying to be focused on your career. That is what I'm seeing. You know what I'm saying? So, only thing you got to do is just, like, stop communicating with this person, like, period. After this, we got one more spread and we gone, y'all. No, and then, uh, the fuck it. Well, I did pull up other shit. Messenger of water. There's going to be new opportunities and love coming to you. You understand? There's going to be new opportunities and love you have to continue focused on your worth, on your progress, having hope for the future. You understand? And keeping your energy fixated on that. There are always going to be new opportunities and love. There are people that love you. As long as you love yourself, you can have anything that you want in the world, Virgo. Do you understand? And I honestly think that whoever the hell this is is about to come into your life... They might be, like, I feel like their personality isn't as big and as, <laughs> it's not as big and as boastful and as forceful. Like, this is a, a very, I feel like you're going to meet a cancer. Very soft, loving, and nurturing person. This five of water, like, you're no longer focused on. The past, you're turning around and looking at the future. And I'm trying to tell you that this is bothering this person. They don't want to have you, but they don't want nobody else to have you. Don't let nobody come and sabotage your blessings. You understand? Keep moving and don't look back. I told you. I told you. Another queen of hearts is coming to you. Either this is you with that queen of hearts energy or this is a new queen of hearts coming to you. I'm trying to tell you it's a water sign coming to you, y'all. 
all this water, messenger water, and then this five of um, and shit, it could be a Scorpio. Let me go. Relationship change. All of these are blue communication cards. Relationship change. Domestic harmony. Forgiveness. Okay? So, what I want to say here is... If you have to say anything, just tell this person... Our relationship has changed. Um, this is something that you need to come to your own terms with. I want domestic harmony. I forgive you and I hope you forgive me for whatever happened in this relationship. It's over now. I don't think it's healthy for us to cling on to each other. And I'm trying to tell you, like, I honestly think that someone has been sleeping around and has could possibly have some type of disease. I'm telling you on a personal note, you might need to go to the doctor and get yourself checked up because there was most definitely some cheating going on in this situation. But you need to communicate to this person and be fine. This is the sun. This is the sun. Let me look real quick to see which one is the sun upright and which one is the sun. Um, which one of these is the sun upright and which one of these is the sun in the reverse? Because I can't see. Bro, I just can't even believe people. Like, people are really fucking crazy, my nigga. How did that fall? The sun. Yeah. This is the sun in reverse. It says. Now, the sun in the reverse. Now, we all know that. The sun in reverse means, like, someone is not really able to see things clearly the way that they need to see. Um, it could be someone. That is extremely childish and, um, you know, really needs to stop playing around. And um, I'm really, like, bringing this to faith. Like, it really has a lot to do with your faith and your ability to move on. So, and on this, and in the book, their little definition for the sun reverse is a little different. But it says, it says... Betrayals, disillusionment, weakness, broken secrets, vain, e vain and egotistical people, beware of fire. I definitely feel like that is very adequate description of what's going on here. I couldn't have said it better myself. I really couldn't have said it better myself. Like, please do not be disillusioned about the severity of this stuff and please beware of this beware okay this is the three of wands in reverse remember i told you that y'all are waiting for your ships to come in or something like that like i really don't feel like you should wait you know what i'm saying i really do feel like you need to just take heed of what i'm trying to tell you and you need to move out and come to conclusions with this situation very quickly if you're still dealing with it in any capacity you need to really stop because it's delaying your progress as you're moving forward and then this is the goddamn chariot in the reverse this person is trying to stop your growth this person is trying to stop your growth this says conclusions are within reach okay you've seen everything that you need to see you understand you're very close to achieving your goals but this is a fiery climax that is approaching. This person is going to see and make sure that they raise hell to so that you don't get to where you're going. They don't want you, but they don't want nobody else to want you neither. They feel betrayed. They feel like you did something to them instead of the other fucking way around. And it's most definitely the other way around because this bitch is fucking crazy. Crazy. 
crazy. And I want you to protect yourself. Please get yourself spiritually armored up. Get you some crystals. So this person can't be trying to send you no bad juju, no bad energy and shit, whatever the fuck. This person sends to you. Uh, 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 it's going to be a mirror and reverse that energy right back to sender. Do you understand what I'm saying? Please protect yourself. Please take this shit very fucking seriously. I am not playing. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be so, like, I don't mean to be like that. But, yo, Virgo, I, I love you, young. I fucking love you. Please love yourself. And you do. You fucking do. You're a star, Virgo. And you do not. And I mean, you do freaking not deserve this and it's making me angry and i swear to god if i knew who the fuck you was and if i knew who your family was i would call them my fucking self and tell them about this goddamn energy that i'm seeing so that they can be prepared because this person thinks that you're a coward they think that you do not stand up for yourself and they think that they can do whatever the fuck they want to and when they know that they got some people around that will beat the fucking shit out of their ass and it's more crazier than them they'll think twice about it Armor yourself and protect yourself with the blood of God. Do you understand? Touch not God's anointed. Touch not God's anointed. You are protected and you are highly respected, Virgo. Use that energy wisely and make sure that you armor yourself. I love you. Peace.